is it? Uh... I'm Jerry Hesch, and I'm at a whole body workshop I'm presenting in North Andover near Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, today is the 7th of June of 2019. And this is Carrie. And uh, Carrie has really flexible hips. Put your legs out straight. Ain't that flexible? That's 110, 120 degrees. Okay? Plenty of rotation in her hips. Okay? But when we look at her, it looks like she's hyperlordotic. And there's some freeway space in the lumbar spine. If we palpate the ASISs of the pelvis and the PSIS, there's a distinct anterior tilt. We looked at her before and we noticed that when I try and rotate her backwards, there's no movement. This is very, very rigid. And it's very rigid on this side also. Let's have you lie on your stomach. I can rotate her into that pattern. I can take her further into anterior tilt. This is a spring test. But I can't go the other direction. There's no inferior spring on the iliac shelf. I can spring up because that takes her further into that pattern. I'm going to check the tone of the sacrotuberous ligaments. and. There's, I can't spring that ligament, so they're taut. They're more tight than normal. The sacral sulcus, I can't tell you that it's in exaggerated, but can't tell. Um, can I spring the sacrum forward? Pretty rigid, but I can move it. I can get some give there. When I come to the lower sacrum, I cannot take up the slack and I cannot spring it. So this is what we call a bilateral anterior ilium or a bilateral anterior pelvic tilt. By definition, with an anterior ilium, it's going to have this pattern of blocked mobility in some directions. When she's on her back, the, the, the mobility will be blocked. Okay? Um, we're going to treat her. Let's have you lie. Let's look at hip extension first. That's, that's full. Let's have you lie on your back. And the way that we're going to treat it is we are going to have you hug one knee to the outside of your shoulder and you're going to do that for two minutes. Then you're going to repeat it on the left side outside the shoulder for two minutes. Okay? And I may treat the sacrum directly, but I won't show you that unless I end up doing that. So we'll stop filming now. I'll treat her and then we'll show you the results.